So it's extremely small. A device that is extremely small. Mm -hmm. Register is hooked up to LLU. It is on board, the processor. How about control unit? I told you before that the jobs of the control unit is to control or coordinate actions for different for every other units, right? So its job is to control first how the computer accepts input, right? From input unit. And after it's accept input, it has to coordinate how the input gets stored in memory. So that's the first task. The second task, it has to know how to fetch, right, fetch stored information to ALU. Okay? So control unit also coordinates the process where um, a bunch of information is fetched to ALU, processed, and then stored back to a memory. It's also control this part. Process information leaves the computer through output unit. So this is the basic operations that the control unit coordinates. So now I'm just going to um, briefly talk about basic operation concepts. When you see these instructions in assembly language or low-level language, this means add content in location A in the memory to a content of register 0, and then put the results in register 0, right? So basically this means take the contents from location A of the memory add it to the content of R0, and then put the results in the R0. So what is the event that occurred when this particular instruction is executed? Instruction is fetch. When I say instruction is fetch, I mean the add is fetch. You know, the instruction itself is fetch from the memory. And then operand is fetch. After operand is fetch, it is add to the content of R zero, which is content of register zero. Okay, if you look at the two and three, they combine two instruction, right? They combine the fetch instruction and an add instruction into one instructions. In many processors, what it does is normally it will load first. Load from memory, put it in R1, and then it will execute and add R1 to R0. This two instruction produce the same thing as that one instruction, right? Sometimes in a lot of mo modern processors, they do it this way. Because, believe it or not, this two instruction most of the time would be faster than one single operation right there, because it's combined. Um, two instruction together. Okay. Now let's look at this chart. This is, well it says connections between processors and memories. So this is our memory. This is the processor. We have different types of components on processor that is connected to memory. Can you guess what they are? First, what is IR? IR stands for Instruction registered. So if IR is an instruction registered, what it does is that it holds current instruction. So on processor, the IR register will hold current instructions, which means which instruction is being executed on this processor at this moment. What is PC? PC is not a personal computer. <laughs> It is stand for a program counter, right? So program counter, what program counter does? If I R hold current instruction, program counter hold the memory address for the next instruction to be fetched. So basically what program counter does is, is keep track of the sequence of, of your programs, right? You execute this one and then next go execute the next one. 
which one to go next. Keep the sequence. So program counters, this is figure 1.2. Oh, you don't have the book, sorry. <laughs> okay, so it's contained memory address of the next instruction to be executed. So PC, keep tracks of program executions. So next, how about MAR? What is MAR? Yep, it is a memory address registers. So what is whole? It holds address. Exactly. So MAR is memory address register. It holds address. You know, what you can do is you can just write down a figure number for now, and then you will find this figure in the book. <laughs> Holes, you don't have to draw the thing. Now, if you know MAR is memory address register, can you guess what MDR is? MDR is memory data register, right? And you already know what a general purpose register are for control and ALU. General purpose register is used to store information, operands, instructions, and everything. Okay, so according to this general architecture, most of the machines following this architecture, although may not be exactly the same. So now, using that architecture, what happens when you execute a program? First, the program counter or the PC is set to the first instruction if you talked about the high-level language programs, the first instruction is in main function, the first line in main function. That is an entry point of your programs. So what happens is the entry point of your program will be stored in the program counters to set up where to start. And then next, content of program counter is transferred to MAR to tell where to fetch the data, right? Now the control unit sent read signal to the memory to tell the memory that, okay, processor is going to fetch data. Now, we know that the location that we want to read is already stored in MAR. So the next steps, instruction, we always fetch instruction before we fetch data. So instruction is read to MDR, memory data register. So the instruction that is stored in this location is fetched to this location. So now we have the instruction in the processor. Next step, obviously, is we going to try to fetch an operands. So number five, the content of MDR will be sent to IR. IR is instruction register, is hold the current instructions. So now we know instruction is in place, ready to be executed. Some instruction don't need operands. Some need one operand, some need two. Normally, they don't go beyond two. Sometimes they need three at most. So we say if, if operands are needed, Repeat the fetch cycle to fetch operands. After you get the operands, you transfer it to ALU. Now ALU will perform operation. If the data or the data needed to be written back to memory, then the different cycle will occur. The address will go to MAR, the data will go to MDR, and then both MDR and MAR will go to memory to write the data back. But if the operations does not require data to be written back, then it's done right here. And in the meantime, while 2 to 8 is executed in the meantime, PC will be incremented. I don't write down that as a step 9 because this happened in between. Step 2 and 8 depends. While the current instruction is being executed, the next instruction is being loaded to PC. Registers on part, you mean fiscally where it is? Oh, um, general purpose register. When you fetch an operand, the operand will be stored in one of these registers, the general purpose 